Hey all, uh, just a little follow up on some of the Arch Linux uh, installation of VirtualBox. Um, decided to try out uh, a desktop manager um, or a desktop environment called Mate. That's more traditional uh, GNOME 2, if you know what that is. Uh, just a normal, like regular menus instead of like I have on the desktop. The uh, This is GNOME Shell 3. So we're going to go to the GNOME 2 sort of look. So you have to uh, edit your um, Pac-Man config file as your uh, user, not as super. I uh, should never do that. I mean, you can edit it, but don't uh, install certain packages through that. So it's uh, sudo nano slash etsy slash pacman dot conf, and you add these two lines. Then we'll do a Pac-Man update, then we'll install mate, and then edit the XNRC. If it's not there, it'll be created anyway, once you edit the file and save it. And then we start the uh, X session after you're editing the X in it. So let's get started with this. I'll move this window into view a little more. And actually, I'm going to need this other one. Sorry. Just uh, to get the uh, server address. Okay. So sudo nano slash etsy slash pacman dot c o n f password we'll just page down and what I'm going to do is take this part here where it says sig level equals optional trust all all trust all sorry so I'm going to press alt 6 on the keyboard and that copies it and I'll just uh, press Control U, and that should paste it in. And we'll just press Enter a couple of times. Uh, delete the pound sign. Now above that, we need to put inside these square brackets the word, just the word mate. Okay. And then uh, the next line under sig level is the server. So server equals http uh, colon slash slash repo dot mate dash desktop dot org. There's <laughs> a long one. Arch is that Arch Linux? Yeah, Linux, and another slash, and then a dollar sign Arch. Okay, and if that looks right, if not, we'll have to go back and correct it. So press Control X, and press Y to save, and press Enter. Now we have to do an update. So we'll clear the screen here. So sudo Pac-Man, just to make sure I type that in right, S, capital S, Y, Y, sorry. Yep, okay, so we got that right. So then it's just sudo Pac-Man dash capital S, meet. And we select all, and we'll use the first option mesa dash libgl since we're using a virtual box um, install and 113 megabytes download so press enter and we wait for it to download so i'll be back when this is uh, finished downloading and then we'll install the mate extras and then uh, move on from there okay i've installed the uh, mate and as well as the mate extras and i know it's installed pulse audio i'm not too sure I wanted that. It doesn't matter. It's just a virtual machine. Just beware though in the meat extras if you don't want Pulse Audio. So let's nano the X in RC. Well, actually, let's do that uh, a list again. So it's LS dash LA. Okay, luckily it's there. So we'll just nano dot X in it RC. And we just add in. Uh, just at the bottom, just arrow down, 
exec mate dash session and for control x to save it and y to save the changes yes clear the screen and I'll zoom out and hopefully we can start X so you just type in the word start X one start uh, start X just uh, one word and press enter yep yep there we go so that's the mate this is the mate desktop with the extras installed and you can see it's similar to GNOME uh, to if you used it before you have your accessories places system preferences control center uh, let's look at control center I've never used this before so I'm not sure it looks like a control center I imagine you can add uh, you know seams and stuff appearance yeah this looks a lot like oh yeah okay you have to install that that's normal and by all accounts it looks like it's uh, it's in the home folder. Okay, the home folder, you're going to have to create your own um, folders for uh, downloads and stuff. Music downloads, pictures, videos, that sort of thing. And let me see. Create new folder, create document, properties. Uh, I don't see a terminal, but I didn't really, like I said, I don't really know this. Let's see here. Desktop, change desktop background. Okay, oh, there's quite a few here. Close. So that's just a look at how you would install a different uh, desktop environment in Linux. And uh, I think uh, I'll, I'll uh, take a look at installing a graphical desktop, uh, not desktop, a uh, login manager. Uh, so you can see. So let's see. Okay, one more thing. Mate terminal. That looks like a lot like GNOME terminal. Let me see. Profile preferences. I like to use an underline, background, transparent, yep, and colors, what do we want, uh, black, there you go, so pretty much a traditional, uh, let's see, minimize, uh, gnome 2 experience with this, uh, I don't know what else, one more thing, neat system monitor, exact like the gnome one with the system about processes resources oh, that's pretty good and the file system awesome okay so if you want to give this a spin uh, it looks fairly lightweight um, it's not wouldn't be as light as something like awesome window manager but you know if you have a old slightly older computer and you don't want heavy resources this might be something you could consider installing so it's Arch Linux using the mate desktop okay so that's it for now and uh any questions or comments feel free to add them and as always thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon bye for now